Well, sadly, it's my last day hosting The Daily Show, and I almost got through the whole week. Yes, and I almost got through the whole entire week without talking about racist cops. <laughs> but guess what we're gonna talk about today? Racist, racist cops! <laughs> After the Louisville police killed Breonna Taylor, the Justice Department launched an investigation into whether they discriminated against black people. And after two years, guess what they found? The results this morning from the U.S. Justice Department aren't flattering at all to Louisville police. The report concludes that the unit's activities were part of an overall enforcement approach that resulted in significant and unlawful racial disparities. Federal authorities found that police in the city were four to five times more likely to stop black drivers than white ones for the same traffic violations, five times more likely to charge black people for loitering or disorderly conduct, and more likely to stop and search black Americans for the same behaviors. That's right. The DOJ launched a two-year investigation to find out something every black person already knew. <laughs> the police discriminate against black people. What else do you guys find out? Nick Cannon doesn't use condoms? <laughs> Out of that, he has a really terrible pullout game. <laughs> the black woman behind Merrill Garland was like, mm, I could have told you that, Merrick. I can't believe you flew me out to Louisville for this bullshit. <laughs> Next time, just ask me, damn it. <laughs> but none of this is unique to Louisville. Every time the Justice Department investigates a police department, the conclusion is they're racist. Just once, I'd love to have them hold a press conference like this. After a two-year investigation into police department, we have found shocking levels of tolerance. <laughs> Officers was five times more likely to high-five a black person than a white person. <laughs> And some white officers was caught in text messages discussing the works of James Baldwin. <laughs> it's a tough day for America. <laughs> Let's move on to Tennessee. Here's another surprise you probably saw coming a mile away. An anti-gay Republican just got caught in a thirst trap. For our top story this morning, Tennessee's lieutenant governor is receiving criticism after making several comments on nearly naked photos of a 20-year-old gay man with his blue-checked government account. Over the last three years, the lieutenant governor has been regularly commenting on these extremely racy pictures of an influencer. Everything from typing out fire emojis where the male user had posted his backside to commenting that he has, quote, a super look and that he loves his content. Here's what his press team had to say. Trying to apply something sinister or inappropriate about a great-grandfather's use of social media says more about the mind of the left-wing operative making the implication than it does about Randy McNally. Does he always use the proper emoji at the proper time? Maybe not, but he enjoys interacting with constituents and Tennesseans of all religions, backgrounds, and orientations on social media, adding he has no intention of stopping. Yeah, I bet he has no intention of stopping. I don't like to stop while I'm jerking either. <laughs> I love his excuse, though. <laughs> his excuse is he's a great grandfather. That doesn't make it better. The worst part is, you know, he probably called his grandson in to teach him how to use Instagram. <laughs> hey, Blake, Grandpa wants to tell this hot young twink that he can ride my face like a unicycle. <laughs> Mojin should pow pow you. <laughs> and finally, cars in Maine are getting a little bit more boring today. A vegan in Maine whose custom license plate contains the word tofu is one of the drivers caught up in the state crackdown on vulgar vanity plates. This is apparently the plate in question. It says, Love tofu. But the state thinks it could be seen as an inappropriate reference. I love to F you? <laughs> Are we sure that car doesn't belong to the Lieutenant Governor of Tennessee? <laughs> oh, Paul, Paul. Paul, Paul. <laughs> I say let the man have his license plate. How are you gonna punish a vegan? 
Isn't there diet punishment enough already? <laughs> From all this story, we turn to Michael Costa. Michael! <laughs> What do you think of Maine's crackdown on vanity license places? It's ridiculous. You know, this is more unfair than when I was kicked out of high school for cutting class. You know, students can do it, but substitute teachers can't? I mean, <laughs> double standard much, Marlon? You know, I, I think Maine is just trying to make sure that license plates aren't uh, obscene. Okay, but they're going too far. I mean, they reject all kinds of completely innocent plates just because their minds are in the gutter? And I'm speaking from personal experience here, okay? As you'd expect, I summer in Maine and just take a look at some of my plates that were rejected for no reason. I'm not a vegan, so I'm not about to have love tofu, but that's why I went with this, okay? Yeah. I'm, a, I'm a chicken guy, white meat, dark meat. I love it all, put it in my mouth. Uh, Michael, I, I gotta be honest, that sounds like you're trolling for sex. Boy, you know, you sound just like the guys down at the truck stop, you know? <laughs> you're, you're seeing messages that just aren't here. Like, like, can you believe they also said no to this one about my love of NASCAR? I mean, look, I, I'm Mr. Race, but no. Oh, that one actually landed me on some kind of list. Can you believe that? I did get a shout out from Tucker Carlson, though. Apparently, this is also the name of his boat. That one makes me want to punch you in your face. Oh. So you're not an NASCAR fan. I get it. Okay. But, 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 but if that upsets you, just wait until you see the one that the main Bureau of Motor Vehicles sent me. Look at this. Oh, but that's just a regular plate. What? What are you talking about, dude? L2EFDP? Love to eat fat donkey puss? I mean, this, <laughs> this is obscene, Marlon. I have a family. I, okay, I, I think you're overreacting, okay? What plate did you wind up with? Well, we're still going back and forth, but, but, but I'm hoping that this is the one that they'll accept. <laughs> Play. You mean like assisting on basketball plays? No, it's ass play. I, I'm expressing my love for ass play. I love the ass, Marlon. <laughs> I like a little twiddle myself.